So you're purchasing a property and your lawyer asks, how do you want to take title? Joint tenants or tenants in common? You're confused. The purpose of this video is for me to explain to you what is the legal difference between joint tenants and tenants in common. In essence, this, is basic, this basically means right of survivorship. For example, if you and your spouse were to purchase a property, the presumption is both of you are 100% owners of the property. In such a situation, we as lawyers will be listing you as joint tenants. That means that if one spouse passes away, the property automatically goes to the other, pro uh, other surviving spouse. If you're listed as joint tenants, then you do not need a will for the property to transfer to the surviving spouse. Hence, it is a right of survivorship. All you need is a death certificate and a, a survivorship application, which your real estate lawyer can help you file to help you have the property transferred into the name of the surviving spouse. Now, what about tenants in common? For example, you and your friend happen to purchase a property for business purposes. Both of you are equal partners in that property. You would be listed as tenants in common. That means that friend A would have 50% of the property, friend B would have 50% of the property. Now 50% is a hypothetical number. You could have various numbers, 90, 10%, etc. Point being that if friend A passes away, the property would go as per his will or her will or as per their inheritance. The other partner of the property who is listed as tenants in common would not automatically get the property. Whereas in joint tenants, you are both listed as equal 100% owners of the property and the property transfers over. I hope this information was helpful. If you still have any questions, feel free to email us at info at slclawyer.ca. Thank you and have a great day.